like to share a little bit today about the retract options on Fusion 360. This is definitely important for people who use Fusion 360 on their Onefinity Elite CNCs. It's probably applies to other people who use different types of machines as well, but you, you certainly got to be using, using Fusion to uh, get anything out of this. So um, first, I want to show you what that looks like. So if you look at the post process, there's a couple options here for safe retracts. The default, if we hit the post default is G28. And then there's G53 and clearance height. So I was using G28 because that was the system default. And I didn't even think about changing it for a long time. And the, the one thing that really bugged me about the machine was when it finishes the job, the spindle is running and then it moves to the home position with the spindle running. Well, that's like right in my face, right? It's a, it's a dangerous thing to have that bit exposed close to me. I want it to be far away that realistically as it can be. So Fusion unfortunately doesn't provide an option to, at least not by default, to go to your park position, which might be at the back of the machine. You could certainly modify your post processor to make it do that. That would be a different topic. But it does have a couple different options between G28, G53, and clearance site. And I'll show you what those look like. So um, backing up just a second here, I have this really simple model. It's a 12 inch circle. I am gonna cut a contour around the top of it. This is probably two inches off of, it's a two inch tall piece. And I think I zeroed maybe another quarter inch or something above the wasteboard. So it's gonna be a little over two inches above. And what it's gonna do, it's just gonna cut a circle like that in the air, not actually gonna cut any material. And then it's going to do what it does for the safe retract and we'll compare the options. So first, I, I have already done this. I've exported this G code with all three of these options. Those options are right here. And we'll take a look at them and show you kind of what they look like. So first we have the G28, which is the system default. And this is really the most complicated one of them. Um, what it's trying to say here at, you know, at the end of the program, this is the block essentially that we have modified by making that choice. And what it's saying is using G28 and absolute position, go to Z0, and then go back to incremental position, and then using G28 and incremental and, and absolute position, go to X0, Y0, and then go back to incremental position. So that's what it's trying to say to do. So. If functionally, this just says, go to the home position. That's really all it does. G53 does a more simple version of that that just says, hey, go to Z0, then X0, Y0. So functionally, those two do the same thing, and you'll see that when we show what they look like. And then there's the clearance, which just says, don't do anything. Go to the clearance height you had here at, at G0, Z, in this case, 86.8. And then don't do anything else, just stop right there. So I like this one. I have switched to doing clearance for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to bring the bit close to me spinning any, any, any more than I have to. So if it's finished position is in the back of the machine, the center of the machine, whatever, that's just not right front and center in my, in my face, and it's a little bit safer. Second, if there were ever a chance that something could be in your path that the bit could crash into, it would be a problem. Now this would be um, uh, be a corner case probably where this is gonna this could happen. And I'll, but I'll tell you one place where I worried about it happening in my machine. I had my rotary set up, and I had a bit that is a, a half millimeter wide six degree angle bit that's really good for cutting fine detail but it's long it was an eight millimeter shank and that was the only one i could find that would be that pointy and narrow tipped so i um, that's what i went with but it was long and that meant that the machine couldn't retract it up high enough to completely clear all of the parts of the rotary 
And uh, if it was ever in a position where it finished, where the straight line path to the home position would have hit into those high parts of the rotary, it would have crashed. Now, I knew in those cases that it wasn't going to do it. I was very careful to plan around it, but always made me nervous having that when I had my machine set up that way. If I had known at the time about just safe retracted clearance height, I wouldn't have had to worry about anything at all because it just would have stopped cutting and would not have gone to the home position, which would have been great. And I wouldn't have had to worry about that spinning bit coming back at me towards the home position. I realize that's probably not a huge deal, but I'm very respectful of this machine and the damage that it can do to my fingers. So um, with that, let's take a look at what the runs look like. It's pretty straightforward, but we'll take a look at it anyway. Thank <laughs> you.